gonna take you through an upper body workout. We're gonna do two different circuits. We're gonna do a pull fo focused circuit. We're gonna do a push focused circuit. Yes, I can talk. Uh, we have two different circuits and each of these circuits run at five exercises. You're gonna be working in each exercise for 45 seconds and you're gonna take 15 seconds of recovery, yeah? So two five minute circuits. I'm gonna go through and break down all of the movements in each of our circuits and do the first round with you. If you're looking for just a short, sweet, in and out workout, just do this video, yeah? Do one of each. If you're feeling a little spicy, you got a little bit more in the tank, you are welcome to rewind this video or just write it down and do it in your own time. I would recommend doing anywhere between one and three rounds of this workout. All right, that's all I got for you, so let's get into it. All right guys, let's go over our movements for our first circuit. We're gonna be doing a bent over row, a single arm snatch, and a windmill. So let's go ahead and find our mat, find your dumbbells. So for our, our bent over row, you're gonna use both of your dumbbells. You're gonna come into a nice stance, soften in the knees, hinge forward at the hips about 45 degrees. From here, I want you to pull the weights up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Your hands will hit right about your waist and then bring it right back down. So big pull up. Slow control down, thinking about a pencil between your shoulder blades that you're trying to squeeze tight. After we finish our 45 seconds in our bent over rows, we'll move into a single arm snatch. You're just gonna need one of your dumbbells. You're gonna bring it down to a hanging position from a squat, then driving your elbow back behind you, I want you to pull that weight all the way up and overhead. You'll notice that the weight travels through my shoulder like I'm trying to Throw it back behind me. Nice and strong. After we finish 45 seconds on one side, we're gonna go straight into our windmill. You have the option to get rid of your weight for this. Keeping your feet in the same stance, you're just gonna turn your toes slightly to the side, keep your same arm lifted. Hinging at your hips, you're gonna reach down and forward just a couple inches past your toe, and then lift yourself all the way up. Now notice that your back is staying nice and flat as you move through. You're not rounding or curving at any point. You're really sending those hips back. Back stays flat as you reach down and reach all the way up. Now as you start to feel more comfortable with that movement, it might start to feel good to use a little bit of weight. So keeping the weight overhead, you can hinge and lift from right here. After we finish one side, we're just gonna go to the other side. So coming to a hang position, 45 seconds snatch, and then pivoting your position and doing 45 seconds in your window. After we finish this circuit, we'll take about a minute to recover and we'll move into our push focus circuit. Our next circuit, we're gonna be doing a push press, a single arm floor press, and a single arm tricep push up. I know, single arm push-up, don't worry, it's not as intense as it sounds. Let's talk about it now. So our push press, again, we're gonna start with both of our dumbbells, and we're gonna bring them right up to our shoulders, feet hip width distance apart. I want you to bend your knees, we're going to push and press the weights straight overhead. So weights come down, push and press. Now you can choose to keep your palms facing each other, or some people enjoy turning the palms forward, yeah? Similar motion, whichever variation you like today, go for it. So 45 seconds in our push press, and then we get to come down to the ground for our single arm floor press. So you're gonna keep just one of your weights in your hand. You're gonna lower yourself down to the mat, and you're gonna bring your elbow out at a 45 degree angle. Now from here, I'm gonna press the weight straight overhead, and I'm gonna slowly bring it back down to that same position. So big exhale, and then slowly bring it down. Now depending on how heavy or light your weight is, I encourage you to go at a, the appropriate speed. So sometimes if it's really light, going slower and holding on to tension can be a good way to build intensity. Good, so we have 45 seconds there, and then we're gonna flip around and work our other arm in a tricep push-up. So you're just gonna come to lie on your side. Take the arm that was working and hold onto your shoulder, bend your knees. 
Now, you're going to push your arm into the ground to come all the way up, squeeze your tricep at the top, whoo, then take yourself back down. Big press up, squeeze that tricep, whoo, bring it right back down. Those are killer. After you finish one side, we're just going to flip around. I'm going to do the floor press on the second side, and then we're going to do those tricep push-ups on the second side. And that will be our circuit. All right, guys, I've got 45 seconds on the clock. We're starting with our bent over rows. So go ahead, find your weights. I'll get our timer going. We start with our bent over rows in five, in four, three, two, and one. 45 seconds on the clock here. So hinging forward, big pull right back down. Now it's okay to check the camera or if you're using a mirror for your form, it's okay to check it out every now and then. But once you know that you're doing it right, I want you to send your gaze down and forward. Think about keeping your neck nice and long. Big pull, slow release. If this ever feels too challenging with the weights you have at home, you can always give me one row on either side, alternating your arms. Nice work, you guys. We're here for five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew. Ditch one of your weights. We're going into that single arm snatch next. So pick which side you'd like to start on, and we're moving in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. So hanging, pull that weight up and overhead. Now when I reach the top, my core is strong and braced. I'm bending my knees, and my lower body helps me bring that weight all the way overhead. Nice job, you guys. Keep it up. Big pull up, right back down. Big pull up, right back down. You've got about 20 seconds left here. Nice job. 10 seconds. Hang in there. Three, two, and one. Now you can keep the weight or you can ditch it. We're going to go into those windmills next. This is a slow, steady movement. Turn your toes slightly to the side. We'll lift our arm in four, three, two, and one. So weight straight up overhead, hinging into that windmill, then pulling yourself up slowly. Notice that your shoulders stay stacked. Your shoulders stay stable. Now everyone will have a slightly different range of motion here. So again, think about not rounding through the back. If you're not coming down quite as far as me today, that's totally fine. If you can, try to send your gaze up towards that weight and keep your gaze lifted the entire time. So strong, you guys, almost there. Nice, take a break. We're gonna switch sides. Who that one arm, it just feels like it's gonna float away in space. Let's do that single arm snatch, evening out in three, two, and one, here we go. Big pull, lift up, right back down. Using your breath, nice big exhale as you pull that weight up and overhead. Bending the knees, coming down part way every time. Nice job, you guys. Keep it up. You're almost there. Well over halfway. Ten more seconds. Big pull every time. That's three, two, and one. So good. Bruce is joining us for a break. Hello, Bruce. Moving into our windmill. So pivot your toes slightly to the side. Widen your stance if you need to. And let's go. Let's lift that weight up, hinging down, all the way back up. Core is tight, shoulders stacked. Now I always encourage people to reach just a couple inches forward from your toe. If you're used to doing yoga, I'm going to triangle pose, 
you might feel tempted to stay in line with your leg. Encourage you to try reaching slightly forward. See if you can find a little bit more space when you do. Nice, slow and steady here. There's no need to go fast. You've got 10 seconds. So good, you guys, five seconds. Almost there. And release. Awesome work, you guys. Enjoy this minute of recovery. We're gonna come back and do our push focus circuit next. seconds on the clock. If you're ready to get started, let's jump right in. I'm going to start with that push press. So grab both of your dumbbells. We're going to get started in five, four, three, two, and one. So find those weights up to the shoulders. Soften in the knees. Big exhale. Push it overhead. Right back down. Big exhale. Now, just like your snatch, I want you to think about bracing your core tight at the top. You're not a mermaid. You're not arching your back. You're keeping your core tight. Use your legs as much as you need to, especially as we get towards the end of our interval. You might bend the knees a little more and really let the lower body assist in this movement. We've got 10 more seconds. You guys are doing great. Stay with it. Push, press. Good, that's four, three, two, and one. Bring it down to the floor. You only need one of your dumbbells. We're going into our floor press next. Here we go. Big press up. Slow control down. Slow control. Now be mindful of your wrist here. You are punching your knuckles straight up towards the ceiling. Sometimes it's tempting when we're tired to let the wrist roll back. See if you can keep your joints stacked the entire time. Good, a little shake, a little shimmy is good. We're alive, we're awake. Nice job, you guys. We are well over halfway there. and release that weight. We've got our single arm tricep push-ups, so lay down, bend the knees, hold onto your shoulder, place your palm down, and we'll wait for that buzzer. Here we go. Push, lift up, slow control down. Big press up, Ooh, slow control. Think about squeezing your tricep at the top every time. Oh, these burn so fast. But you guys are doing awesome. Take it at your own pace. Whew. You can always take a breather when you need it. But don't worry, 45 seconds will be over before you know it. Whew. Big press. Slowly down. Big press. Whew. Slowly down. Couple more. Ooh, and let it go. All right, guys, let's flip around. We've got a single arm chest press on the other side. Set it on up. Here we go. So big press up, slow control down. Again, that elbow comes out about 45 degrees. Our back stays neutral. And we're not letting the weight carry us to one side. So notice if you're leaning a lot towards the side that has the weight, try to ground yourself on the opposite side. So we're working our chest, but we're also working our core here. Awesome work. Just a couple more reps. Keeping that steady, strong pace. Ooh, and let it go. All right, we made it to our last interval, you guys. We have those single arm push-ups. So go ahead, bend the knees. Hold on to the shoulder. Plant the hand into the ground. We'll wait for that buzzer and we'll get started. 
Here we go. Big press up. Slow control down. Nice work. Big press. Ooh, yeah. I love this as an alternative tricep movement. Sometimes you can get caught doing a thousand tricep dips, a thousand tricep kickbacks. You need to get creative and try new things. Oh, so good. Squeeze that tricep at the top every time. I am feeling it. Stay with it. Right back down. We're almost there. Ooh, and we made it, you guys. Awesome work. Enjoy about a minute of a half of recovery, and we will get right back in to that whole sequence if that's what you're doing today. Hi, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. I hope it left you feeling a little sweaty and very, very strong for the rest of your day. If you like these kind of videos, you can see the workout with me playlist. And if you're looking for some type of recovery or something to do in between your workouts, I encourage you to check out the flow with me playlist. Uh, I'm releasing one workout and one flow every single week. So you can keep checking back to this playlist for more stuff. Construction is starting outside again, which is awesome and good timing because this video is over. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Bye.